Hi everyone, Simon Wicks here. Welcome to our March 2012 Vintage Update. Well, harvest has been underway for a couple of weeks on and off now. And you can see here we're finishing off the last bit of our Sauvignon Blanc on a lovely, cool, misty morning at Woodside. We do it early when it's cool to make sure we maintain um, the absolute uh, freshness and purity of fruit that we're looking for. When the grape bins are full, they're uh, taken straight to our on-site winery where they're tipped into the receival bin and weighed so that we can keep an accurate record of the grape intake for the season. At this point, the fruit is then conveyed through into the uh, Destemma crusher. This machine performs two processes. The first, removing the malt or material other than grapes through the Destemma unit, as you can see here. So we end up with all the unwanted material in a bin and also crushes the berries uh, when we then end up with what we call must. The must is then pumped through the heat exchanger that you can see here, where it's chilled to well below 10 degrees before entering the press. Once all the must is in the press, it um, then goes through its automatic cycle, which generally takes a couple of hours to obviously extract all the juice from the berries. And the clean juice is then pumped through to the tank farm. Once it's in tank, the juice is then chilled again and allowed to cold settle for between five and seven days. Uh, before the clear juice is then racked off from the thicks left in the bottom of the tank. Bench trials are then undertaken on the clear juice to ensure it's clean. A yeast culture is created and then inoculated into the juice for the fermentation to begin, which you can see happening here. Well, that's as far as things have progressed this vintage. So thank you for joining me. I hope you found it informative. And we'll see you again next time.